This week on The Gun Room, we're taking the Benelli Lupo out into the San Juan Mountains in southern Colorado. My name is Forrest Cooper, and I am one of the newer editors here at Recoil, and we are taking the Benelli Lupo out. Now this rifle, as you'd come to expect from Benelli, is very purpose-driven in its design, and it's clearly designed for hunting, which is exactly what we're doing with it. Starting at the back end, features you're going to expect from Benelli as a company, is you're going to have a progressive recoil system, but the Benelli rifle, this Lupo, um, is different from what you would expect in a shotgun, right? So this kind of, this recoil system is more common in the shotguns, but for a hunting rifle, it really came to show its character when we were sighting it in. Moving forward, it also has um, a, a cheek comb that has a little bit of push to it so that whether or not you're bearded or clean shaven, don't have to worry about anything snagging, but it still is comfortable even for long days on the hunt. So moving forward from the stock, you've got your standard accoutrements for a sling mount, and then you immediately run into the aggressive but comfortable grip of the Benelli Lupo, which places your thumb right on top to reach that safety. Also convenient for on the trail, the slanted bolt handle allows you to rest your trigger finger well out of the range of the trigger guard, making for a safe hunt as you, even when you're hunting with a party. The Lupo does come with an adjustable trigger, but out of the box, I noticed it was exactly what I wanted it to be, virtually unnoticeable when zeroing it at the range. So I left it right at that just shy of three pounds mark. Going forward, where you start to see that hunting design of the rifle really show its colors is in the Flush Fit proprietary magazine. Uh, box mag holding five rounds for this rifle, chambered in 270 Winchester, four if you were gonna push up to 300 Win Mag. Standard mounting features are going to be Picatinny on the top. This rifle is mounted with a Vortex Razor HD LHT, which I have on taller mounts, which allow for a real clean mount to the shoulder. And I find it working a little faster with this rifle. Try it out on your own. Finally, the heart of this rifle, the barrel is a 22 inch cryo barrel by Benelli with a 5 8 by 24 inch threading on the end if you choose to use a suppressor. Now the, where the barrel really shown on the range was the ease of sighting in the rifle. Holding a tight group had no, we had no issue, I had no issues there. At 100 yards, easily within a quarter was the first 10 rounds through the barrel. Not a problem. Which has been great when you combine it with the rest of the rifle, totaling at seven pounds, which as we're going up and uh, going up mountains, losing elevation constantly through this trip, it's been a real advantage for me not to have to worry about the weight of the rifle dragging me down. Now, there is something to notice about the durability of this rifle. We've slid down rocks. We've had to deal with multiple different environments. As you see, it's snowing now, and a couple days ago, it was 60 degrees out, and we were still trying to gain 10,000 feet of elevation. Even strapped to, the, even strapped to a ruck, um, and being susceptible to the elements, it still held its shape, it still held its figure, and in the end, <coughs> we're still gonna be out on the trail. So in closing off, this rifle does differentiate itself from things that I've used in the past, specifically in the Army Rangers. The box magazine is not what I'm used to, but that flush fit does make for a much better trail carry when the conditions arise. Now going from the trail carry, we get to see the ergonomics of the Benelli rifle in action as I have no challenge going from a comfortable trail carry, under the shoulder carry, really any position to a very quick snappy draw. And that is a benefit of the ergonomics of the Benelli, which is something you're going to expect from Benelli products, especially if you're familiar with shotguns used in competition. They tend to be reigning champions. They don't come cheap. So finally, with the Progressive Comfort Tech system, it turn, what does it do? What does it feel like? It turns the sharp snap of a rifle into the slower push of what you would expect out of a shotgun. That also gives me the confidence that if I, whether I'm shooting at altitude or in adverse conditions, I'm gonna be confident to be, that I'm gonna be able to take the animals that we're hunting. Hopefully this time, it's gonna be a big bull elk.